Hey everybody, T-Shirt Booth here. I'm going to show you how to debug your game. So if, if you know a rule should work, but you can't figure out why it's not, um, I'm going to show you an easy way on how to figure out why it's not working. So I have a game that I made almost a year ago. It's not even complete, it's just a little game. I have preview. And basically this line will be the direction in which my ball will shoot. And when I click and release, it's supposed to shoot a ball into these balls. And as you can see, when I'm shooting, it's not working. So we're going to go back. And I'm going to go into the line. So it's supposed to uh, fire the red ball when game.fire equals 1 and balls are greater than 0. So we'll go back here. And we're going to create a new actor. And we're going to call this text. Now we're going to tell it to display text. And we're going to click the little E here. And now we're going to t in we're going to go quotation. And first we want to know game.fire quotation. And then we're going to do dot dot because this will mean that we're adding something new. And I'm going to choose game.fire and then I'm going to go dot dot and quotation again and now we want to know balls. It doesn't matter what you type in there, this is just so I can see what attribute is what. And I'm going to go dot dot again and then I'm going to go balls. I'm going to change the color here so we can actually see it. Hit back. Now we're going to drag this up here to the top and then hit preview. Oh, not far enough over. So right now game.fire equals zero and game.balls equals three. So I know that's okay. So I know balls is greater than zero, so three is obviously greater than zero, so that's okay. Game.fire is zero, but that's not supposed to change until I click and release. So let's see what happens. There we go. Game.fire equals 2. So I know I made a mistake somewhere because in order for the ball to fire, it needs to be game.fire equals 1. Uh, and ball is greater than 3. So we're going to hit back. Now I know in my rules that I put the trigger on the touch sensor. So I'm going to go into there and see what the issue is. Now when touch is released, change game.fire to 2. Oh, there's my mistake. So I'll press 1. We'll go ahead and preview. And there we go. And now balls equals 0. So even though fire equals 1, I can't shoot. Perfect. I delete my text actor, and away I go. Hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video.